Hello guys and welcome to another video. My name is Alex from Tech Fusion, and today I want to show you exactly how you can take the official Chia app on the Windows 10 and run it together with the Mad Max plotter so together you can farm and uh, use the official pooling protocols under Windows 10. I will show you exactly what information you have to have and how you can get it and how you can all put them together so you can start farming right away using the official pooling protocols. Alright guys, so we'll have to start with the beginning. So I will point you guys out to the official uh, Chia network. So it is this website over here that I will link down in the video description where you can download and install the official Chia launcher uh, for Windows anyway. So this is running the latest version which is 1.2.0. And once you have done so, go on ahead, install or update your client and I will see you just after. Alright, so once you've installed your official Chia app, go on ahead, open it up and check that it is running the latest version, which is 1.2.0 in this case, or at the moment of uh, filming this video anyway. And on the left hand side, you'll see a pool tab, which means that now your client is supporting the official pooling protocol. Um, mine it is populated with the um, address of the pooling that uh, of the pool that I wanted to join but yours might be empty so in case it is empty you can uh, go on here to the right hand side and click add a plot NFT or uh, where you can select the self pool or you can connect to one of the pools that you have in mind so for instance I'm not advertising these guys in any way but I'm just uh, choosing them as an example I went over to space pool there is a tab here which says how do I join if you, and, in, and if you click that one and scroll down, you'll see that for each of the continents, there is, a, there is a link here that you have to copy into your official Chia app. So for instance, I am in Europe, I'll go on ahead and click copy and copy this over into my official uh, pooling protocol URL. And once I will uh, do so, I'll go on ahead here and click create. Uh, I won't click create at the moment since I've already joined uh, their uh, pool and once you do so you will find their pool here um, it might take up to an hour i should say before you can join their pool but once you do you will have some of the status information regarding that pool another thing to mention uh, quickly uh, you will have to have some mojos as they are called into your wallets before you can join a pool and in order to have any sort of balance uh, if your balance is zero what you can do, you can uh, hop on over to uh, faucet.chia.net. Uh, so I'll hop on over here and say faucet chia. And there you go, you have faucet.chia.net as a website where you will take your uh, wallet address, click I'm not a robot and submit. In my case, of course, it's already sent some mojo, so I can't uh, get this money uh, anymore. But for you, if you haven't done so, you can get some uh, money in your wallet that you can use to start uh, joining some of the pools. Um, once you have done that, um, do keep in mind it might take up to a whole day before you receive these uh, mojos as they are called. It is a very tiny amount of money. Um, but anyway, once you do have that in your wallet, you will see it in your wallet as spendable balance and you can use that to actually join pools. So this is very important and you have to keep this in mind before you can continue. Um, now moving over to the pooling side, once you have the pool in here and it's confirmed, a very important thing to note is uh, the contract address that you have to write down. So in order to add access the contract address of the pool that you are interested in, you'll have to go over to the left hand side of the pool protocol over here and then uh, just uh, on the right hand side of the pool, there is this small question mark and it says auto generated name from pool contract address. And there is a clipboard here that if you click normally, it says copied. So you can copy that over into your Mad Max plotter before you start uh, farming. So now I'll move over and uh, tell you guys a little bit about the settings of the new Mad Max plotter. Uh, I won't go into great uh, depth or detail. If you want any sort of details or uh, setup of uh, any kind of, of how to get you started, you can uh, or I can actually leave a link down in the video description showing you my previous video where I go into great uh, details about this. Uh, otherwise, I will just show you the basics of it. So just as before, you'll have to make sure you download the latest version uh, from the uh, GitHub Mad Max plotter. So I will leave a link down in the video description with this, um, which is basically this guy over here, which still does the Chia plotters. Uh, you can go into your latest over here and you can just download the latest version, which is for Windows 0.1.1. 
so I will leave a link down in the video description with uh, this uh, this link here so you can have it readily available for you and once you are on this website you can just go ahead download it it is a zip file and just extract it where it is most convenient for you and then note the path to the um, folder itself so um, I'll go on ahead now and I will open up a new uh, plotter or I should say a new Windows PowerShell. Right click, run as an administrator, click yes. And I'll type in the command CD with the full path of the uh, Mad Max plotter as uh, I've shown you before. Note that where you have downloaded and where you have extracted the plotter because this is what you'll need to use here. Uh, once you have done that, as you can see, you are now in the folder of the Mad Max plotter. So it's ready to accept the command and start plotting according to your settings. Uh, quickly going over the settings, the command is just as before dot slash chia underscore plot dot exe uh, followed by the rest of the variables that you will com uh, complete by yourself. So you don't have to use everything that is listed here, but you definitely have to use some of them. So for instance, I will use uh, the minus n variable, which stands for the number of plot that you have to create. One is default or you can run 10 or 100 so after the number of it's reached so if you made 100 plots then the plotter will stop or you can just leave it at minus one if you have a large uh, hard drive available for it and it will continue to plot away until the hard drive is filled but for instance and for this example i'll just leave it at one then i've chosen to ad adjust the number of threads so i am running a ryzen 9 3900x so i have 24 threads available for my plotting process which i have written it down in here and then you have the temporary directory so i am running a raid zero configuration using two ssds at the moment which is dedicated for the plotting process so i have ran them together as a raid zero using uh, x as a path for it so I have just uh, inserted the, uh, the same for the temporary drive and as well for the temporary directory number two, uh, where it says X and X again. So if you're, for instance, you're running two dri separate drives, you can have X here or Z here, or depending on the letter of your drive or depending on the configuration that you are running. Uh, and next, the most important is where you want the final plot to be transferred to. So for instance, I am running, um, as I said, a RAID 0 configuration, and then I'm transferring automatically the plots that I created to an attached hard drive, which is le the letter E over here. So that's why this is over here like so. Uh, very important moving on next is this uh, minus C, which stands for the contract address that I have talked to, to you about before. So it is the one that you can copy from uh, the Chia official pooling protocol and just paste it over here. Uh, just make sure to put it in between the commas. So I will just paste it over here. It's the same one for me, but of course uh, for, for you it's going to be different. Um, next, which is very important again, is your farmer key that you have to get using the command. If you don't know exactly how to do that, uh, you can check out the link in the video description to my previous video where I will, um, where I have showed you exactly how you can get all the information that you want before you start plotting. So once everything gets set up, you are more than welcome to change some of the other things here, like I don't know the number of buckets, for instance, at phase four and three and four actually. But this is optional; you don't really have to do that if you don't feel like doing it. So once uh, everything is set, you can just copy everything, go over to your um, PowerShell, paste everything and hit enter and watch it go. So once uh, everything is done and the plots are created for you, you should be able to let it sync up to the network. And once it is synced up, you will see the connection status, which says connect, connected to the main net. And then if you click on over to pools, you should see the pool that you have joined. For instance, I am interested in this pool to the left here, which says pooling, I have one plot, since this is the plot that I have created for this example over here, and then other status like current difficulty and current points of balance and so on and so forth. So this is basically how easily it is to get set up and use the Mad Max plotter uh, in combination with the official uh, Chia pooling protocol to get you started on uh, farming in pooling. So this is basically it. This is how easily it is to get uh, everything set up with the official Mad Max plotter and with the official Chia uh, pooling protocol that supports pooling together with other people. 
If you have any questions or uh, your thoughts, actually, I would encourage you to leave them down in the video description since I want more people to see them and create a community where everybody has access to information so that we are all trying to get uh, to know exactly what's happening and to exactly know how to use um, the system best for our plotting uh, needs. As well, on your way out, don't forget to check out the other playlists that we have here on the channel featuring PC builds and PC parts. We have just launched our second video and there will be more videos coming down the line. Thank you guys a ton for watching this video. If you learned anything, please consider subscribing and if you liked it, don't forget to leave a like as well. And I would greatly appreciate it if you leave your thoughts and comments down in the box below so that we can all share in the information and see you guys in the next one.